So in this session we are our topic is photosynthesis in that light reaction and non cyclic electron transport system. So before going that in photosynthesis main cell organelle is chloroplast. So see the structure of chloroplast outer membrane. So cell organelle chloroplast shows two membranes inner membrane. So in between the two membranes the empty space also present that is called inner intermembrane space or periplastidial space. Periplastidial space. The remaining within the two membranes the remaining space is called as stroma. Stroma. So in this stroma it contains ribosomes that is 70s type of ribosomes and naked DNA and also it contains special type of enzymes which are involved in Kelvin cycle or C3 cycle. Right? So, and also stroma contains membrane structures. Membrane structures. Okay, those are called as thylakoids. These are the thylakides. Group of thylakide called as grana. Each one called as thylakide. Inside the thylakide, empty space is present that is called lumen. Lumen. So, and this group of thylakide that is grana they connected with the lamellae so here it is called as thylakide or grana lamellae and these are called as stroma lamellae stroma lamellae thylakide lam grana lamellae it contains grana lamellae it contains ps1 and ps2 photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 but stroma lamellae shows only only photosystem 1 is present photosystem 1 it means it lacks Photosystem 2, PS2 and also NADP reductase enzyme. NADP reductase enzyme. Take a grana lamellello PS1, PS2. And don't I? Photosystem 1 and Photosystem 2. But stroma lamellello PS1 matrame. Right? So it lacks photosystem 2 and also NADP reductase enzyme. So ante kakunda on the thylakide membrane or grana lamellae it contains chlorophyll pigments. Chlorophyll pigments. The pigments are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophylls, carotenoids. These are also present on the grana lamellae or thylakide membrane. What is the function of these pigments? Function of pigments is they trap light energy. They trap light energy. So here in the photosynthesis there are two reactions are there. One is light reaction.
second one is dark reaction what is mean light reaction means these reactions are occur in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight by utilizing these light reaction it prepare ATP and NADPH2 they prepare ATP and NADPH2 which are useful in Kelvin cycle Kelvin cycle occur in stroma right and stroma lo jarige Kelvin cycle ki avasaramaina energy ni light reaction la tayar cheskuntundi it prepare energy which are useful in C3 cycle that energy called as okay assimilatory power assimilatory power by utilizing this assimilatory power is in the presence of ATP and NADPH2 by using this energy they prepare they undergo Kelvin cycle occur in stroma right those reactions are called as dark reactions so dark reactions are nothing but it occur in the stroma these are also called as C3 cycle cycle light reactions are occur on the membrane thylakoid membrane light reactions are occur thylakoid membrane on the thylakoid membrane and dark reactions are occur in stroma that is called as c3 cycle also called as kelvin cycle so ikkada kelvin cycle jarugutundi ikkada nemo light reaction jarugutundi so the result of light reaction atp and nadph2 are formed those are called as assimilatory power assimilatory power by using that assimilatory power they prepare food materials uh, in the process of kelvin cycle or c3 cycle right right so here on the thylakoid membrane pigments are present they act as they, tra they trap light energy in the form of photon in the form of photon right in the form of photon there there they trap in this trap system uh, light reactions chlorophyll b xanthophyll and carotenoids these pigments act as antenna and chlorophyll a it is act as reaction center so chlorophyll b chlorophyll b xanthophylls and carotenoids they trap light energy in the form of photon then that energy is transferred to reaction center which is chlorophyll A. So chlorophyll A is nothing but a reaction center. Reaction center. Right. So there on the thylakoid membrane it contains light harvesting complex. Light harvesting complex. Light harvesting complex. There photosystem 1 and photo system 2 two systems are there photo system 1 and photo system 2 so here main reaction center that is chlorophyll a so near photo system 1 photo system 1 it is uh, the chlorophyll a is at exciting state at 700 nanometer wavelength 700 nanometer wavelength so it means photosystem 1 they are act it is active at 700 nanometer wavelength and ps2 it is also it contains chlorophyll a that is reaction center so that is exciting state at 680 nanometer wavelength so 680 nanometer wavelength so ps1 and ps2 so okay right so ATP, how ATP and NADPH2 are formed? How it prepare assimilatory power in the form of ATP and NADPH2? So that is in the in the form of electron transport system, which is occur on thylakoid membrane on thylakoid membrane. So thylakoid membrane means electron transport system. Jerutundi. So our system la M jerutundi and nadi manamikara it is discussed right so thylakoid membrane it contains chlorophyll pigment they trap light energy in the form of photon okay by chlorophyll b xanthophyll and carotenoids these pigments they trap light energy in the form of photon then 
then it transfer that energy towards reaction center which is chlorophyll a so here the what is the function of chlorophyll pigments they trap light energy light energy in the form of photon so only the main function and chlorophyll b like xanthophylls carotenoids they act as antennae and chlorophyll a act as reaction center here chlorophyll b xanthophyll carotenoids these three are protect chlorophyll a from oxidation photo oxidation uh, from sunlight so photo oxidation nunchi chlorophyll a no ee modu it protect chestunay it protect chloro uh, chlorophyll a from photo oxidation and also these three transfer energy in the form of photon to chlorophyll a that is reaction center right